It, it's, it basically starts with a dream, uh, a vision of what you want to do, and then you start asking questions. And if you're fortunate enough to know some good people who can give you some good advice, um, support your dream, support your vision, um, they'll, they'll steer you in the right direction. And then it's a matter of asking the questions you need to ask, um, looking for the people you want to work with, sourcing the best grapes you can, um, maintaining a certain quality, a standard that you've agreed upon, and believing in the dream. And any advice for people who are out there right now thinking about starting their own wine company? I would say if you're going to do it, do it right and don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to approach people that you don't think will give you advice or um, great ideas because the world is your oyster and you're only as good as information you have. Yeah, I mean, you're going you're gonna to get um, a lot of good advice and you want to decipher between what's going to work for you, for you and what's not going to work for you. Sure. And at the end of the day, you can put your head in the pillow knowing you the best you can. That's all you really can ask for. If you believe in it and it's a dream and you want to do it, uh, do it. Uh, life's too short otherwise. True. But the, you know what? Depending upon the varietal you want to make. If you want to make Bordeaux style wines, the Napa Valley offers that. If you want to make um, Rhone uh, style wines, you can pass a Robles, uh, Syrahs, you can go uh, Pinots and Russian Rivers. So decide where, what direction you want your wine to go. What are your favorite wines? What varietals do you like the most? And once you decide that, it'll just be a step-by-step -step pro process like dominoes and uh, you'll start knocking them down one at a time and uh, hopefully at the end of it you'll have something you really appreciate and enjoy. At the end of the day that's what it comes down to. If it's something you believe in and you like, hopefully everyone else does, but at least you can be proud, proud of that. Yeah. And I met you too, ac or actually Stacy, um, and met your wine <laughs> and it stopped me in my tracks and this was amongst maybe 30 other winemakers. Um, what I'd love for each of you to do, and Stacy, if you'd be so kind, is to show the bottle sure. that came all the way from Italy. These bottles are imported from Italy, brilliantly so um, designed, <laughs> clean and lean. I'd love to hear you two describe the flavors that are in that magnificent Cabernet. If I have to. You have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right away, I, ta I taste when I taste it. Uh, it. You know, it's very fruit forward. It's very elegant, uh, almost a, a feminine wine in quality. It's not, it's not masculine. It's not this big powerhouse. It sneaks up on you. Um, uh, it approaches you, and, and you, you really you, you get it. You know, it, um, if there's cinnamon. There's um, uh, cherry. Cherry. You're gonna get um, vanilla. Yeah. And there is a there is a fragrance. Yes. In, yeah. It's, it's like, like a, a floral, bouquet. Like a floral. But the fragrance. finish there is. Yeah. to me, it's a bouquet, and then the finish, which is what I love about it, is like a woody vanilla. So it changes. It it's does. like in the beginning, it's fruit, and yeah. then it becomes this like soft, yeah, you get nice, you know, warm. Bouquet, and then you get fruit on the palate, and then the finish. Yeah, it's, it's a nice finish. It's, it's long lasting. Right. It's not overpowering. Um, yeah, the, 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 the mid palate is very nice on the wine. You know, it really. I mean, from front to back, this wine delivers. And I don't want to, um, I don't want to diminish this wine by not mentioning whose attention it's caught because there's some very big names in the wine space that are your customers or your advisors or your partners. Can you share with us maybe a quote from somebody? who might have tasted the wine and just kind of, or an experience, please. Well, someone we really admire, admire what he does, um, Mr. Philippe Milka, tasted the wine and said, it's amazing, you're underpriced and you know, put me on the list. And that floored us. Um, for someone of his stature to say something like that really, you know, backs up what we're trying to do and, and gives us hope and, you know, it, it sort of solidifies that we did the right thing.